Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make garlic butter roasted Brussels sprouts. Roasting Brussels sprouts is my favorite way to cook them, and you can't go wrong with a little garlic butter and Parmesan. These Brussels sprouts are delicious. To start, of course, you'll need some Brussels sprouts. Now you can buy them in bulk and just pick them out, or in bags, or on a rare occasion, you can buy them on the stock, and this is exactly how they grow. So if by the off chance you buy them on the stock, you'll just cut them off. Now if they're not fresh from the stock, they may have a woody end, so you'd trim that off, and then we'll cut each one in half. Now as you slice your Brussels sprouts in half, you'll transfer them to a mixing bowl. Some of the leaves may come off, but don't worry about that. Just toss those in the bowl as well. Next, you'll take a head of garlic and smash it. Then we'll pull out all the cloves here and start trimming off the ends so we can peel these. Now we can't mince or crush our garlic, otherwise it will burn when it's cooking with the Brussels sprouts. So you can either leave them whole or you can cut them into littler pieces that are a little more bite size. And then we'll add those in with our Brussels sprouts. Then you'll need a quarter cup of melted butter, and I just melted mine in the microwave. So we'll drizzle that on. And then I also add in a couple tablespoons of olive oil, just because it adds a different element to the roasted veggies. For this many Brussels sprouts, about two pounds, I'll use about half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper, and you can always add more to taste after it's out of the oven. And we'll give these a toss. The butter will kind of harden up as soon as it hits those cold Brussels sprouts, and the olive oil will stay liquid, so you kind of have that combination going on. It helps keep a liquid going into the oven, and then the olive oil will help crispen up the leaves a little bit better than the butter, so I like to have the whole combination. Then we'll spread these out in an even layer onto an ungreased baking sheet. Gosh, I love Brussels sprouts. This may not even be enough to satisfy me. Next, we're going to bake these in a 475 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes, depending on the size of your Brussels sprouts. Roasting the Brussels sprouts at a high temperature will create a crispy exterior with a soft interior, and it will caramelize all of the natural sugars in the Brussels sprouts. Now, during the last five minutes of baking, sprinkle on about a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, and that will melt and crisp up. Give it five more minutes, and then you are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.